I present you Pasha Mukherjee, unfiltered, Miss England 29 contestant. I don't want there to be any barriers between us. No makeup, no filters, because I want to be as relatable as possibly anyone can be. All the ladies that have made it so far are winners and deserving to win for their own reasons. I see myself as a conqueror. And here are my reasons why I deserve to win Miss England 2019. I come from an immigrant family and have personally witnessed the true repercussion, culturally and financially, of being uprooted from one home and having to set up a new one, all from scratch. Whether it's living in shared housing, five people in one room, or a terraced house in a drug and crime heavy neighbourhood. I've witnessed the, the regressive side to my own culture, whereby my own mother suffered financial and familial ostracisation and humiliation, as well as the casual racism of being one of three brown people in a majority Caucasian school. I was bullied for being the weird girl, called Ugly Betty, for the glasses I wore all my life and my crooked teeth. I moved around six different schools, always the new kid, and sat and ate lunch in the toilets many days because I couldn't make friends. My escape was books and studies. So when I topped my school in GCSEs and set up my own business and charity age 17 and finally made it to medical school, I thought the struggles were over. I was wrong. I thought climbing the social ladder from growing up where I did to being among the posh totties and private schoolers would be the answer to social integration. It wasn't. Isolation and with that anxiety and depression were my new friends. But I wasn't going to let that come in the way of my dreams. Everyone told me that I wouldn't be able to make time for modelling. I wouldn't have time. I guess they were wrong. In a world of rich daddies, and connected families, I can proudly say not one of my clients or contacts were laid out to me on a silver plate. I've taken countless calls in my teens and waged my own safety and worked with and dealt with perverted middle-aged men all to get that one respectable job, one respectable shoot or show. Yet, never did I compromise my character, but always my ego, just to buy peace with countless clients who would make me feel worthless when paying me the throwaway wage that I had worked 12 hours for, travelling to shoots at early hours and getting home after midnight. So that's just my personal story. The winner of Miss England, I believe, shouldn't just be someone who overcomes personal struggles, but also has a global appeal. They must have an awareness and understanding of the world beyond just the borders of the UK. I believe I have that unique perspective. And not just from going on expensive exotic holidays, but from having lived for the first nine years of my life in a third world nation. Whether it's the cultural exuberance, the feces smeared toilets, or being groped in a public uh, transport. Miss England should be a woman who has seen what womanhood truly entails. How even today we are not an equal society. And how even today calling a woman a slut puts an end to every argument there is. Lastly, Miss England should be a woman who through all her obstacles never loses sight of her dreams and despite countless failures has the tenacity to get back up and soldier on. For these reasons I believe you should vote for me and help me win Miss England 2019. Thank you guys. Please vote to me by typing Miss England 08 and text that to 6 Three, 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 three. Text costs 50p. I also want to thank all my sponsors, Jogi Kang and Puneet Pandal. Thank you. Mwah.